Dana, I, I criticized his lying about his own record, okay? This is a guy who was captured on video saying, I carried a gun in war. He never went to war. This is a guy who's been captured on video. As other people say, he's an Afghanistan veteran. He's a veteran of a war, nodding along in agreement instead of saying, no, 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 I did serve my country and I did it honorably, but I never went to a war zone. I'm not criticizing Tim Waltz's service. I'm criticizing the fact that he lied about his service for political gain, Dana. You now ask me three questions about comments that I made three years ago. Uh -huh. I wonder what Kamala Harris thinks about the fact that she supported policies that open the American southern border. I wonder what Kamala Harris thinks about the fact that she lied to the American I'm interviewing people you, not about Kamala Joe Harris. Biden's middle, middle. You see that? You see that? I'm interviewing you, not Kamala Harris. What? Yeah, you're interviewing me, but are you going to only ask me questions about me? No, you're not. You're going to ask me questions about everybody on the right. So keep that same energy. I'm trying to introduce some other things to the topic that is actually relevant. And I know you're not going to bring it up. So if I don't bring it up, who's going to bring it up? If I don't start the conversation on this, if I don't start this conversation, who's going to start it? Dana Bash, man, you really showed yourself to be very, very one-sided in this one right here. It's about the fact that she lied to the American I'm interviewing people you, not about Kamala Joe Harris. Biden's mental, mental facility for the office. You are interviewing me, Dana, because I respect the American people enough to sit down for an interview. I appreciate that. Kamala Harris has been the nominee for three weeks. She hasn't sat down for a real Believe interview. Believe me, we are asking. I, and, you're and not going to get but, a disagreement but, 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 there. But the point is, Dana, you've got me for 15 minutes or however long you have me. We should be talking about public policies that matter. How are we going to lower inflation? How are we going to reduce the cost of food yes. and housing? How are we going to close down that southern border? We've talked so little about that. We've talked a lot more about a sarcastic remark I made three years ago. I think we should talk about the issues that most Americans. Because what's more fitting for her, what serves her and CNN are gotcha moments. You said this 20 years ago, and we want to make sure we hold your feet to the fire. You're running for president now. It's important that you you make sure that you discuss that. We want to make and you're not talking about anything real. Dana, 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 you know, Dana, Dana, whatever your name is, however you pronounce it. Let's focus on the real things. Let's focus on policy. Policy. Why is that so scary? I know why it's so scary. It's so scary because Kamala is not focusing on policy. It's so scary because Tim Waltz is not focusing on policy. It's so scary because if I continue to bring up Tim and his past, his past doings, and what he allowed to happen in his state where he represented and what it looks like now, oh, no, that will put your people in a bad situation. You don't want to discuss that. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. I get it. Here. Kamala Harris is whatever she says she is. But I believe importantly that President Trump is right that she's a chameleon. She pretends to be one thing in front of one audience. She pretends to be something different in front of another audience. Look, Dana, she's not running a political campaign. She's running a movie. She only speaks to voters behind a teleprompter. Everything is scripted. She doesn't have her policy positions out there. She hasn't answered why she wanted to ban fracking, but now she doesn't. She wanted to fund police, but now she doesn't. She wanted to open the border, but now she doesn't. She should have to answer for why she presents a different set of policies to one audience and a different set of policies to another audience. And I think that's what President Trump is getting at. This is a fundamentally fake person. She's different depending on who she's in front of. With Dan. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Guys, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up if you like J.D. Vance better because of how he's representing himself, or give me a thumbs down because you still don't like this guy. Like, just let me know in the comments. Just, just talk back to me. I want to be able to see in real time what y'all think, man, because this, J.D. Vance, this is what's required. This is what's needed. Let Trump go out there and do all of his passionate talks about whatever he want to talk about. They're not going to like anything that Trump say, regardless, even if he go out there and just talk nothing but policy. Look at all these thumbs up, man. They love J.D. Vance representing the way that he's representing right now. So check this out. The way that he's communicating, 
It's going to make it seem like he's bullying. But all he wants to do is talk about the things that are necessary for moving our country forward. Shouldn't we want that? No? You want to talk about a comment that I made 10 years ago? That's what's important to you? No, let's talk about where we are right now. Let's talk about our team right now. Let's measure us up. Me and Trump against Tim and Kamala. Which one looks the, um, look the best so far? Which one sound the best so far? Which one have the track record so far that will guarantee a better situation if we were at the helm versus them? Huh? Huh? Exactly. You don't want to talk about it, man, because it make y'all look bad. And I criticize people for not having kids. I criticize people for being anti-child. And I do think that Kamala Harris think she's has made some bizarre statements. She has said things like it's reasonable not to have children over climate change. I think that's the exact opposite message we should be sending to our young families. I want to expand the child tax credit. I want to stop those surprise medical bills. I want to make housing more affordable so that if you have a young family, you can actually afford to put them in a home. And I think that it is unfortunate that so much of our public leadership has become anti-family. This is what you want to hear from somebody when they are going into office. All of the things that they stand for, all that they represent. That's what you want to hear, right? You think she's anti-children with the funny smirk on your face? Yeah, did she say something about population control? Isn't abortion like her number one priority? That sounds like somebody that's against children to me. That sounds like somebody that's against family to me. No, it don't sound like that to you. And I don't know, maybe we're thinking about life and family and love differently, Dana Bash, because based off of that, she actually said something about population control, man. And I'm not going to talk about that too much because I hear that people are being flagged when they talk about it. Because guess what? We're still on a liberal platform. Let's not get that twisted. I want to stop those surprise medical bills. I want to make housing more affordable so that if you have a young family, you can actually afford to put them in a home. And I think that it is unfortunate that so much of our public leadership has become anti-family. One final point on this, Dana, if you go back to the COVID era, one thing that really frustrated me, please. Are you going to debate Tim Waltz? Of course. I want to debate Tim Waltz. I think it's important. And I think that it goes to a very fundamental difference between the Trump Vance ticket and our opposition. We believe in talking to the media. We believe in answering questions. We believe in debating. I think it's really important. I mean, look, I'm asking the American people to make me their vice president. It's really important to stand before the American people to make that case. And I'm going to keep on doing it in whatever forum I get the opportunity. Dana Bash, let me down. If you look at any of my videos that will give you a better understanding. And so, and guys, just in case this is your first time on one of my live streams, my name is Van and we are the LFR family. Okay. All right, so if you want to have a better understanding of where I've come from, as far as uh, me being so free to talk about politics, go onto YouTube, type in LFR family, Adam Calhoun, where he did a rap and he was talking about, he, he was saying some words. He actually dropped the N-bomb um, on a, a few of them, a few times inside of his rap. But he was also saying other words too about many protected groups, protected groups in the country. And when he was doing that, it forced me to have these uncomfortable conversations. And it was a wake up call for me. It was a wake up call. Please make sure you watch that. A video like that could potentially get me canceled if I get too big. All right. But I don't care about that because I don't give into all that. All I want to see is our country get better. That's it. I also want to see some fair representation on mainstream media. Why is it do we have to have these media platforms that's far left leaning or even far right leaning? I can care less about that because that's not helping. All they're doing is representing their side. We need somebody to have these conversations. And that's why these content creators are so important. OK, not myself, but other content creators are so important because they they shed the light on things that mainstream media are not going to cover. Anna Bash, she should shed the light on the things that Tim, I mean, J.D. Vance is talking about. But unfortunately, she will not. She wants to run away from it because it makes Tim Waltz and Kamala Harris and the Biden administration look horrible. And that's bad for business for CNN. So now they're about to start lying about the polls. They're about to start lying about the polls, making it seem like Kamala is so great. They're about to start lying about her rally numbers to make it seem like Kamala is so great.
They're about to start lying about Trump and what he plans on doing. He's going to turn everybody into slaves if you become president to make it seem like Kamala and Biden are so great. We need to stop being tricked so easily, man. Wake the hell up, grown people. Act like you got some common sense, please. Please act like you got some common sense. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence, okay? But please act like you got some common sense. You don't have to look too far to understand what Kamala represents. Just listen to Kamala. Just listen to Kamala.